Can you hear me, Ellie? I can't see myself. So there's... It's this... This needs to go away. Okay. I see. So you joining me? Maybe. I am two We're seconds away. Anyway. Um, oh, well, hi, everyone. We're live. Huh? Hey. Yeah, hi everybody. Sorry we're late. We had a lot of tech issues from the USA to England, but Colin sorted them out for us. So we're back. We're back on El Tel Cockerel. How are you today, Colin? Are you fine? I'm well. I'm very sleepy, but other than that, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know what's happened to Chang, but we've lost him in translation as well in regards to that so he's not actually in the back room because i can't see him so we'll carry on regardless and we'll uh, see who's in our chat so we've got um meta football tv which is chris the lovely chris i can chris. hear you guys lovely lovely i'm glad you can hear us um and then we've got johnny from bethnal green sorted i don't know what that means is that all the comments we've got in so far? All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to crack on with the show, right? And um, we've got we've got um, a, a little something to talk about in regards to Werner, okay? Like, the, obviously, the banner tells it all, should he stay or should he go? And we wanted, um, we wanted to get really popular opinion on, on what people think, really. Um, so we'd like you to say in the chat, you know, what you think of Werner and how you think he's done so far. But I'll, I'll pass it over to you, Colin. Um, how do you think he's fared in the short time that we've had him? Well, <clears throat> I think he's done great, honestly. Um, you know, he was kind of just chucked in to the team um, and he's performing, getting, you know, uh, goal involvement. Yeah. I'm, I'm really pleased with him, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I gathered that because I've heard you say before, <laughs> you're in defence of Werner. I'm, sort of, I'm not on the fence. I'm leaning towards him being a squad player and affecting games like Johnson does off the bench. But I also like what he can offer our team. And uh, I, I don't buy into the fact that, you know, he's not... Uh, a great finisher or things like that because I've had actually said it but he that's not his job and I've come to realize you know sometimes you have to be humble don't you Colin and you have to hold your hands up when you're wrong All yeah. right? and I, I think I've dug him out a bit too much in regards to his finishing Right, so he does bring a lot of flavours to our team. First of all, his pace, which is very handy in the Premiership when you're trying to get your beat your marker and get that cross across, which he's done very effectively. Um, and also, you know, he, he's a hard-working player, very diligent, and, you know, he gets stuck in when he has to, you know, which I like. I mean, what are your what was your first impressions of Werner, and what are your impressions now, like like what you knew about him, and then the first impressions, and what so do you I, think about him now? I'm allowed to say this because I'm German. Um, yeah. I thought that he would be. I thought he would be no fun, and I thought that he would disrupt <laughs> squad harmony. I thought we had a team that seemed like happy, and everybody seemed to be on the same page, and then we get this stone face. German guy, and he'll—I was afraid he would be all rigid and and no fun, and and again, I'm I'm very German and allowed to say these things, um, but but no, he's been great. He's been great. He's been a lot of fun. It seems all accounts like would you know to say he's getting along great with people. He likes it at the club. He's happy. Um, yeah. And yeah, he had you know his his little blip we'll call it on his yeah. resume at Chelsea but yeah you know you know he's he's been great I, I was worried about how I would fare just like everybody but I think that he's done admirably um and yeah he's just getting involved in goals it's all you can ask for really if yeah. you're doing that you're doing something I right I agree because he, he's quite a divisive character and he's he, he probably doesn't even split the fan base I think we had one poll recently in another chat, in another stream, sorry, and it was like 70% don't sign him, 30% do. And then I saw another stream where it was 70% do sign him 
and 30 percent no so you know it, it it depends on who's in chats and what stream it is but i i've sort of gone 60 40 because i was more 70 30 right but now i'm more 60 percent signing and 40 percent don't sign him and i'll give you my reasoning behind that because i, I just feel he he can do more in terms of getting in the positions to score those goals because he's actually had 19 clear-cut chances but he's had 15 shots on goal because i saw the stats just recently and he, he scored two of those all right so in in relation to because he's not a striker so i've got to give him the benefit of the doubt but at the end of the day if you make those runs colin you make them in front of your marker or if you're going to go to the back post which Ange postacoglu likes a lot as you've as you've seen this season you've got to make that run yeah to beat your marker to trick him and he hasn't been doing that in my book i i have been watching him very closely and i i just feel that he's lacking in that department but the the other flip side of that is that he brings other flavors like he's like i said he's um he's very good at like running at players and beating his man he's not afraid to take his man on which we've lacked it we've lacked a lot with our wingers just recently and like johnson's come into his own now he started to cook right whereas Werner, he, he's always been cooking on that side because he, he is a very experienced player as well whereas johnson isn't so i i feel he's brought a lot to our club and um i might even go to 70 30 if he plays very well go. in the next seven games you know, he might even tip me to 100%. You never know. Because women, we, we do, we have got the right to change our mind. You know. Right, right. <laughs> Big up so, all the women in the chat. I just want to catch up with the chat, Colin. Just yeah, one second. Right, so do. we've got, we've got Shem Tan's joined us. Hello, Shem Tan. Welcome, Good I love up. Shem Tan. He's me a lovely man. He says, hi, 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 hey, Colin and the wonderful Queen Ellie. Hoi, Pierre, Bentecourt, Verna. <laughs> uh, Hope you're both doing good today. Yeah, we're very well. Colin's Colin, it's like early hours in the morning, so I'm really appreciating joining me. No yeah, problem. I might have to run and get some coffee in just a second. But yeah, I'm good for now. I don't blame you. I've just got water for now. I've had my coffee already because it's uh -huh. um, it's a, a decent time in England. Then we've got the Hotspur Hood, which is Dan. Danny, he does brilliant man? intro music. Oh my god, he sent me his new intro music and it's wonderful i gave him praise uh, already so he's saying he's 15 million for a reason question mark uh, uh, of course uh -huh. dan would say that no yeah, dan, dan dan's not a fan him. he wants to banter doesn't he we've got a few more people that have joined us we've got dragon d's nuts saying i can see the pros and cons so i don't know so he's he's 50 50 i think he's on that bench he hasn't quite got off the bench colin right <laughs> yeah. we've got Nick, nicholas collison who's barrison whatever emerson royale or a ranjit whatever name he goes by by now so he's but as a squad player yes but not a starter that's fair true i i, I agree with that I really do. What do you think, Colin? What would you say to that? Yeah, fair. Uh, you should always be aiming higher than what you've got, you know. But but if you look at his numbers compared to a lot of quote unquote starting quality wingers in the Premier League this season, so who's who's the who's the fellow that City bought for all the money in the whole world last summer? Jeremy Doku. Jeremy oh Doku, yeah, Jeremy whatever. Doku, yeah, yeah. No, nope, no good. If if you're going by stats and numbers, Werner's better. Um, obviously he's way he's he's way older. Um, uh, but it's yeah. just it's just I think people are put off by the fact that he doesn't cost very much, Ellie. I think that people mm. think, oh, he's the 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 fees low of typical Levy signing. Um, I think if he costs say thirty, I think if his buy option was was say thirty million, people would be a lot more happy about it, and they wouldn't. Yeah. You know, that they mean, wouldn't think we were shopping in the bargain bin so much. Very true. Brings me to the song that Jesse J sings. It's not about the price tag. You know yeah. what I mean? Not yeah. about the price tag. Right. Because at the end of the day, the players don't set their price tag, right? 
I mean, with Brennan Johnson, he's got a, a 47, 48 million cap uh, price tag on his head. And he's he's had to sort of, you can see it in his face, right? He, he's had to carry that burden because a lot of people don't think he's worth it. A lot of our fan base and a lot of uh, banter clubs don't think it either. They, they're calling him pants already, you know, and he's just stepped through the door, really. Literally, he's a baby in terms of Spurs um, appearances. So we've yeah. got a good player's time. I, I'm, I'm one who can remain patient, you know, and see it out. And there's seven games left. So Werner's got those seven games to prove to Ange that he's worth a, a punt. And I think Ange is bought into him already. And I think the club are bought into him already. Not because of the price tag. It's what he's bringing to the club. Yeah, right? and he's ex he's an experienced player as well, Colin. Yeah, he you didn't know, he didn't have to come in and learn everything. Brennan Johnson's still learning the game of football to a certain extent. I mean, not really. Yeah. He's been playing his whole life, but you know what I'm saying. You know, he's, yeah, he's still learning it at, at at a high level. Werner's yeah. been there. He's done it. He's he's scored a goal every game for Germany in his first stint. You know, pretty much a goal every game he played, he was involved in, and then. You know, he came to Chelsea, everyone knows how that went. He went back to Germany, things weren't going perfectly. Players are allowed to have little, like, blips on their career. It doesn't work out for everybody, everywhere. Um, you know, it's... it's, yeah. it, it, it's I, I don't know. He's, he's a good player. Anybody with eyes can see it, I think. He's, I'll get that. I yeah. really do. Yeah. And also, also, I'll get the fact that his stats are really good. You know, like, assists yeah. and goals. Yeah. They, they they marry up with a lot of the the wingers who are at the, at the top of their game. You know, he's not like in the middle. He's more towards the top in terms of goal scoring prowess. But I do, what I said is I want him to make those runs to score those goals because he was doing it in Germany. And then when he came to Chelsea, because I've got a son-in-law who's a big Chelsea fan and I've got first-hand information from him. He said like... He's a very industrious player. He'll give his heart to the club. When he when he plays, he plays with for the badge, you know, and you can warm to him in that respect, but he does lack in certain areas. And I I, I do pick up on that, but I, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, Colin, because at the end of the day, everybody's a worth a world, you know. You know, you've got to give him a world, see if he's he can fit in. Um and to tell you the truth, I think the club have made up their mind anyway. So what we say here is what we're thinking, you know, and we have, we've got our opinions. Everybody's got a, their opinions on on Verna. So I've got a, I've got a few more people joined us in the chat. We've got Audio Artisan. Hi, peeps. Hi, Audio. Lovely to see you in our chat. And then we've got Dragon D's Nuts again. Maybe yes, if we also get Nico Williams. Good shout. Very good shout. Uh, Meta Football Chris is saying Vicario should be a bench warmer with a lot of people's logic regarding Price and Werner. True. You see, we've got so many good comments in our chat, haven't we? We've got intelligent people. That's what I say. Audio Artisan saying to challenge for the title, we need two better wingers than we have now. Mm. You know, um, they can improve audio, that's all I'm saying. You know, they're very new to our team. Give them time. Nicholas Collison saying, audio artists in, we are four years away from that at least. Yeah. Hopefully. Challenging for the title, he means. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I'm hoping two years rather than four. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut it in half. There you go. There you go. You'll allow, you'll allow that. You heard it here first. Yep. <laughs> now we've got the Hotspur Hood coming in with a very good comment. Werner is good on the ball. Quick but finishing passing is substandard. For Anstal to work, we need three up front who can also score regular, not just some. Now, that's one comment so, I can get on board with. Yeah. yeah because yeah. we do need goal scorers. I know when he was at Celtic, a lot of players scored. And we've seen it even in our team. Quite a lot of uh, players are chipping in. But you also need your front players to, to chip in with at least 15, 20, 25 goals. You know, the 15 mark is at the lower end. The 20 mark is getting there. 25 to 30, we're in business, yeah? Because when you get those three strikers scoring 25, 30, you can win the league. You can. And it makes a big difference, Colin, you know? Yeah. I mean, what are your thoughts yeah. on that? 
on just just the fact that we need more scoring players that can score up front. Um, I, I get that because I mean, Sun's not even really scoring right now. You know, Suns hasn't been super effective the last couple of games in that area, mm-hmm. but that's because other teams know how easy it is to kind of shut him down. You know, you just put an mm-hmm. extra defender on him and he's pretty ineffective, especially when he's playing through the middle there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I get, true. I definitely get what you guys are all saying. Scoring is important, but let me pull up. I, there's, I'm going to pull up some stats for yeah, fun. And I just want to look up what that's he, Colin. that's what we're looking for. <laughs> see what he was getting yes. in Germany pre Chelsea. Um, we're the stat man. <laughs> yeah. Um, one second. So I know that people know this, but in, in 2019, 2020, in that season, 34 matches played, 28 goals scored, eight assists. Um, year before that, 30 matches played, 16 goals scored, seven assists. Mm-hmm. Year before that, 32 matches played, 13 goals scored, seven assists. I, he's it, the numbers are there. He can do it. He really yeah. can. People, I'm I'm sorry, I'm tired of people saying he's 28. He's not going to get any better. He can't get any better. That's <laughs> a fallacy. You know what I mean? As long as you want to get better, as long as you're putting in the work and training, as long as you're listening to what your manager is telling you, and you have any ability at all, you can get better. I mean, it just takes it. dedication, obviously. Yeah, there's going to be some luck involved for him to get back to where he was, but he's done it before. I, you know, people will say what they will about Germany, but not everyone can do it there. Um, yeah, true. It's a tough league as well because the Germans, it, they're really dangerous is. footballers. Yeah. You know, really like, they don't shirk from a tackle. They're tough. They're physical. It's I'll probably the, it's probably the closest put, league I would on, say to the Premier League, in my opinion. The Farmers League, no, no way. It, it's it's probably the closest the league farm. out of physicality and and speed, probably yeah. to the Premier League. You know, and technicality, I think is higher. Yeah, I, yeah, I would I would look, probably agree with you there. Yeah. If you look, Germany have won four World Cups. That's proof in the pudding. There you go. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, so anybody's calling the German League a Farmers League, they should get their head seen to. That's what I'm saying. There you go. I love <laughs> right. It. So now on in the chat, we've got many people joining us. We've got Bob from Down Under saying good day, Ellie and Colin and Carl. Hey, right. What's For the up? first time this season, Ange has got the style of wingers he wants in Timo and BJ. We still buy a left winger, but T- Timo is a keeper. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm warming to him. Especially when you bring up stats like that. I mean, the stats can be deceptive, like Ben's just mentioned. But I think, um, you know, the stats, they don't lie sometimes as well. You know, you can see a lot of things, especially when it comes to goal contributions and goal scored. Because they they affect games and they win you points regardless, right? The only way they're not going to win you points is if the other team has done better. Yeah, so... You know, when people say you can twist stats, you can, but not when it comes to assists and goals. Yeah. So well done for that, Colin. So we've got Dragon D's nuts saying Johnson will develop into a star on the right. And then um I, I don't I know, Johnson. One. I hope I hope you're right. And I and I can kind of well, see it. But it scares me that maybe Yeah. He won't. He won't. That's another player I found. I wasn't warned to, and then I, I went with Phil Pink to the Brighton game, and he came on, Colin, and he affected the game, and he came on against Crystal Palace, and he affected the game, right? He could be like, um, I don't know, you're too young, but there was a player called David Fairclough who played for Liverpool. He was ginger like you as well, Colin. Hey, right? You might have heard of him because Liverpool are a very, very popular team and people do know about. But he was a super sub. He was known as a super sub, right? And he used to come on affect games. So if Johnson does that, I'll be happy. You know, he's paying his price tag back as well when he's getting assists and goals. That's all we can ask from the boy until he gets more experience, more strength, um, overall you know, awareness, which comes with age as well. Sometimes it doesn't, but most times it does. Um, and he'll learn off players like Benton Core and he'll learn off players like... Players like Werner. Madison. Players like 
burner if even he, if he stays yeah that's enough we could have had a whole program on um basuma as, as well as burner we could. He's, I, he's pretty divisive at the moment i say i'm um, on the other side of this argument with with him yeah. <laughs> yeah. so in the chat as well so we don't lose sight we've got to keep up with our chat as well so dragon d's nuts is saying if we bring in the right players we will challenge next <laughs> season we may not win it but we will be in the race yeah true Eltel cockerel good morning jose good morning we had a bit of technical issues today and we do apologize for that there's a few technical issues which we got over so that's the main thing so Eltel cockerel jose senor garcia as chan goes let's give ellie our appreciation as well as colin for getting up at just after 6 a.m to join the stream by hitting the like button correct put that thumb down on that like button people come on do yeah. it do hit it, it guys <laughs> yeah do it or we'll lose it <laughs> there you go i like it I ben, like it. ben kaufman's that's there you go that's the one i was meant ben kaufman stats can be twisted you are right but like i said and colin brought up the stats very nicely for us it does prove that he is a, a really good assister and he's a really good goal scorer so we just need to see that in a spurs shirt i want to see him go, cutting across that defender going to the back post and just getting his shot off if you hit the post at least you've tried yeah so Shem Tam saying we're just not getting enough goals from any attackers, but everything starts with the midfield, with defence and attack. Yes, it's true, Shem Tam, right? It's a team game. If the defence and the midfield are working and cooking, then the attack gets more chances, don't they? Because it's all interlinking, right? I mean, I played in midfield myself, and your job is to bring the ball forward and create. As a cam, I was I wasn't a defensive midfielder. I was a creator like Madison. But if that if the engines are stopping and the supply is stopping, then the attackers have to work even harder. Because I don't know about you, Colin, but I saw Sonny done some beautiful runs, and they weren't finding him. And against Manchester City, if you recall, Werner was doing some beautiful runs, and they weren't finding him so it all it all clicks into one action right defense midfield attack they've all got to be in sync for the the team to be more effective what do you think about that colin shem tan's comment yeah um let me see exactly exactly what they said but i i mean everything you were saying made made sense to me um oh yeah i mean the team hasn't looked great in midfield, which is weird to me because if you had asked me at the start of the season or at least after um, the second half of the season, I would have said that that's probably our strongest position. Um, yeah. You know, we're, we're, we have more quality, I think, in the midfield than we do anywhere else yeah. as far as as far as depth and, and options and rotation options. But, yeah, it hasn't been clicking exactly, and I don't know what the issue is. Uh, you know, we haven't seen the same Basuma, I don't think, that you were getting at Brighton. You know, you, you're not getting the same types of matches at him, uh, out of him. And that's why I always tell people, too, you know, people are like, well, they're not Premier League proven. Well, sometimes players are Premier League proven, and they come and they jump over, and it's not exactly – the, the same result you'd hoped for. You know, some some players yeah. do better as like the big fish in a small pond. And I'm wondering if that was maybe, you know, the case for Basuma. Uh, and then we also have to think that you're asking these guys to play in completely new systems. Um, you know, can can you can, like think of two styles any more different than Conte and Pasta no. Coglu? They're you know? polar opposites, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I think that has a lot to do with the two. <laughs> You know, everyone always says everything will look better next year, but it really will. I mean, Arsenal, ask them. I hate to use them as a as a metric or or as a you know a guide for anything, but if you look at what they did with, with trusting their manager and giving him time to build what he wanted. Looking yeah, pretty. true. See, I, I mean, I said polar opposites, but there are some similarities as well in Conte's style, which I believe 
I'll, I'll, I'll lay it on all, all of you now, right? So, obviously, um, Conte star was defend and then hit hit on the counter, right? Which can be very exciting as well. I must add that. It can be exciting when it clicks, all right? But then you're relying on the two wingers, right? And I heard Glenn Hoddle, the great Glenn Hoddle, he said in a talk that I was over it in the, um, the banqueting suites opposite the Spurs Grand, and he said, you have to, whatever system you run, if you're relying on wing backs or wingers, they have to be cooking for you, all right? Because that's where the main supply comes from. And obviously, him being a creative midfielder, if the creative midfielder is not doing his job like we think Madison isn't, he's not cooking like the first 10 games of the season, then he picked up his injury. It can have a big effect on the game. So Conte's style relied on the wingers and we didn't have particularly good wingers. And um, now I believe we can move forward this season with Johnson and, and Werner and possibly move Kulu to a false nine or a number 10 role to fit in where where Madison is not cooking, he can play instead and they can share the role. That's the only way I can think to accommodate Kulu because I think Johnson offers more as an out and out winger. And the, the only other thing I can see is Poro goes into that position and we get a proper right, right wing back to join him, you know, or a, a, a more defensive right wing back if you know what i mean i'm not saying poro can't defend but before anybody jumps on my back i'm just saying there are more disciplined defenders yeah, in the dog, where they know their right trade. Yeah, yeah where they know so both styles they were polar opposites because we're on the front foot and conte was on the back foot and then forward when the you know when we pressed and got forward on the counter so yeah, but the, the both systems can work if if the wingers are working and the and the creatives are working. They both collapse when all those departments fall short, you know, because the the creative midfielder and the wingers, I think they're the most important. Yeah, obviously the striker who puts the ball away, but the wingers can score. We've seen it in um, like title winning teams where the wingers. Are really they nearly get as many goals as the top striker apart from Man City because Haaland is like he's a beast, isn't he? Maybe not yeah. so much this season, but last season, boy, was he cooking. <laughs> yeah, yeah so think... that's my analysis on on things anyway. But yeah, so what's Shem? To, have I read that one? Goals from any attackers, but everything starts with yeah. I've read that one. So Nicholas Collison's saying GW twenty four to thirty two. Werner two goals and Son three goals, but everyone losing their minds. Yeah, boom, very boom, boom. boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, Nick is an intelligent guy. You know, so I like I like people that put in like questions and test One your moment. brain. My, my you headset's know. having an issue. You keep going, Ellie. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll carry on. I'll ca I'll hold the ball. Ben Kaufman, sorry, Nicholas Collison. Son is playing out of position to accommodate Werner. Yeah, yeah, you can say that. The only thing I would would say is maybe if if Postacoglu wants to switch it and put Werner on the right. Johnson on the left or vice versa and put Sonny in the middle. Yeah, he could do that or he could put Sonny on the left, Richarlison on in the middle and Werner on the right. Yeah, so that you don't have Sonny in the middle because that's what you're alluding to. You don't want Son in the middle. You want him to be on the left wing because that's where you feel Son is best, Ben. Yeah, I, I know. I've heard you say that, so I can say that with a 100 percent you know facts so ben kaufman also saying also no richarlison does that mean you don't want richarlison to play i, pre I presume yeah i think he, i think he's saying that since richarlison's out that sonny's oh, playing right, okay. in the, in yeah because he's out injured at the moment yeah so yeah. Fact, do you know what sonny's never been a striker has he he's always played on the left wing or just off the striker like he did with kane and he was very very effective but he's been effective in front of goal as their number nine as well. I mean, the two goals 
that he scored against Arsenal was superb. They were like electric, weren't they? And they were both yeah. down the middle because Madison cross, uh, cut across Saka, left him for dead, crossed it and Sonny was there to finish sublimely. And then the second goal, Werner pressed Jorginho, made a mistake, got nicked it off him, passed to Sonny in the middle and he ran on the gut and it was, and he's, well, he made it look easy, but it wasn't easy. To take it from me. He made, Sonny is a lethal finisher. He's the most, I would say he was, he's the most clinical striker that I've, apart from Kane in, in the premiership that I've seen. Obviously, Haaland, you have to count him in as well. I've, I've given yeah, Holland's Holland's just so much more. He's just so much more limited, though. You know what I mean? Holland, yeah. Holland, his finishing might be better, and 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 I don't even think you can say it's that not it's as clinical, much. I don't think. He yeah, right. Yeah. And, and he the goal he he doesn't score goals from outside the box like Sonny. You know those beautiful curling. He he, he yeah. He's he's a very um, effective, yeah. but like not beautiful. You know what I mean? Like nothing nothing that Holland does. I go wow. That that was so no. pretty the way he did oh, that no. just there. You go, oh yeah, he just smashed another goal in, which is nice and cool. Um, but it's not like beautiful to watch. Um it's, you he, know what I mean? He's not as graceful as Sonny. And exactly. Sonny Sonny's good on the ball, but when he's back to goal, he's not as good. But when he's running with the ball, yeah, you know, have like, breaking lines. He's not exactly. Like a Mark Hughes, who can receive the ball, hold it up, use his strength, and then go. He's not that. He sort of no, he, he the playing on the shoulder, he? playing on the shoulder of the last defender, yeah. and and then yeah, exactly yeah. beating him on oh, the oh, turn. He and... just picks up the ball and he runs. That, right? that and too, he runs yeah. At defenders and no one can catch him. Um, or he, if he's put through, if he's put through and he's running on, in on goal, no one better than Sonny. Sorry, but if you've got an argument, then you've got Ellie to argue with. There you go. There <laughs> right, you go. so Good we've stuff. got. Um, we're just moving on with the chat so we don't fall too far behind. So just a harmless potato saying hi. Hi there, just a harmless potato. Right, What's so up, potato? Person, it's also come up. Son at left wing, three goals in 10 games. Mm. Oh. Yeah, boom. Nicholas Collison's also, son is far better as a striker. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I'm two minds about it because on the left wing, he's so effective. But as a striker, you know, he he can score you goals, you know. Um, you have I to defend we him differently. We don't play him like a traditional number nine. We play him like a striker who's like um, Jermaine Defoe, you know, yeah. picks up the ball, that type of striker. Yeah. Mm. I see it. I can yeah. see that. Uh, you know, I think it's more effective because Sonny can use his pace, right? But as like someone who's going to head the ball in, no, Sonny's not your player. That would be no. Richarlison, right? But I heard what, what, what made me a bit miffed, right? Somebody, I can't remember who, and I won't dig them out anyway, um, but they said that Richarlison only scores with his head. I know I've, I've sang that song before because he was only scoring with his head at the time, but he scored with his feet. He scored a beautiful goal against Newcastle. Fantastic yeah. from Porro's pass. He scored two worldies against Everton away. So he has scored with his feet. So I think he scored a few more with his feet as well this season. So big Honestly, though, even, even if he was just scoring with his head, who cares? <laughs> you know, as long as he's yeah. scoring. Yeah, Everyone's talking about how the goals need to be fun. shared. I yeah. don't care. Look at like, Fernando Llorente. Yeah, just, just, just Come off Fernando Llorente. Hip, yeah. it, hip it into the goal, you know, whatever. Yeah. And we got to the Champions League semi uh, semi finals with um, the knee or the hip of uh, Fernando Lorente. So, yeah. yeah, I don't care. It can come off their nose. I don't care as long as it goes in the back of the goal. So, I'm, Nicholas Collison, yeah, we, we, I've done that one. Nita, good morning or good afternoon. I don't know. Is, is it afternoon yet? Yeah, good afternoon. Hi, Ellie and Colin. Hope you're both well. Still on grammar duties, but having a few hours free time. So listening in. Thank you Nina, very much. Thanks Peter. for listening. What a great fan you are. Fantastic. I love you. your comments. You know, it shows you're a true fan when you know the history of Spurs as well. Because being a fan of a club, I always think 
always go and look back what we did, not just what we're doing now. Yeah, and get some yeah. heart. And you know what? If you look back, um, you can learn. You can learn from what Bill Nicholson done, what Keith Birkinshaw done. Talk to these people at the club, like welcome him in to the club as well. Steve Perriman, another great man. Yeah, it's not a club ambassador because he wants to speak his mind in one sense, but what a great um, servant to our club. Over 850 games he played for us, and he's our most decorated player. So big up Steve Perriman as well. And then we've got Mickey Hazard, who Kate's going out for dinner very soon. I think it's yeah. today or tomorrow, one of the two. Anyway, regardless, all these things we can learn how we used to play. And I think Ange Postacoglu is doing that. I think he really is. Um, yeah, and putting up the Bill Nicholson quotes in the dressing room. You know, there's no harm in that. And I think it does help the players and it inspires. Yeah. Right, so Ben Kaufman saying, Timo Werner is the most Marmite player at the football club. Well... If Marmite was actually good and could score goals and assist goals, yeah. then he would be the most Marmite player, Ben. No, I'm just kidding. You know what? There's two others that I have to mention. My man, Hoybier. Oh, my yeah, God. For sure. Does he split the fan base or not? Oh, but, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and like, he gets a lot of hate, a lot of hate. Probably much more than Werner, I would say, in my experience, because I get it all the time. Right, and then and then you've got Richarlison, right? They love him at the ground. They absolutely adore him because where I am in two five two in the South Stand, they sing his name and they encourage him. You know, because obviously they've seen what he's gone through, and not even before that came out, they saw that he was struggling with injuries, str struggling to find his form, struggling to score. Right. So I mean, who do you think? Who would you pinpoint, apart, apart from Werner, as the most divisive player who splits the fan base, Colin? Uh, <laughs> it, it would have to be Hoybier, wouldn't it? I yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah it's Hoybier, poor man. You yeah. know what? And I've, I've attached my name to him and uh, I changed it to Bentoncourt for a short while, but then he started playing pants, so I thought, no, I can't do that. So, right, actually, yeah. Everybody knows Benson Core by now. They know Benson Core is my favourite player. The technicality, for skill, everything. I love Benson Core. But I, I've got a warm into point here because I've always liked that sort of player. I've always liked the daredevil player who gets stuck in, gives his all, plays for the badge. You know, there was yeah, a player in the 70s called Johnny Pratt. Technically useless. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. I mean, Hoybier, he's got some technicality, you know, he has, he's not totally useless. Anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> ben Kaufman saying, Timo, yeah, I've, I've read that one. Nicholas Collison, Ben Kaufman, don't worry, that will soon change. It will be Emma Goat before. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to mention Nick because I knew you were in the chat. I, I'm not calling out because I, I quite like him. I quite like him. Um, so Ben Kaufman, <laughs> we're having a chat. Nicholas Collison, Emma Go isn't Marmite, only a few like him. Wow, <laughs> Destiny Five, I love Destiny Five as well. Yeah, Bad what's up, Destiny Five? Guy. Really good guy. If it's a guy, I'm, I'm presuming it's a guy. Yeah, Destiny yeah, I, I saying, think. Shit. Yeah, yeah, we think <laughs> yeah. without Werner's goals and assists, we would be a lot worse off. To be fair, to be honest, sorry. Heck yeah. 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 yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to curse too much on Jose's streams, but hell yes, Destiny Five, yes, one hundred percent, right? Yes, Come everyone on, acts Destiny like five. put it in just, there, put it in there. We'd be screwed <laughs> without Werner. We, he's oh my god, everyone I makes know. me so mad. Just put, <laughs> just give him some respect and like and yeah, he's not the best player ever, but no one claimed he was. We're not saying that he's, you know what I mean, that he's. Cristiano Ronaldo levels, like that he's, no. or that he's even good enough <laughs> for is. the future, but he's good enough for now, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I've always, I know that you can't just get behind a player because they have, you know what? Actually, you can get behind a player that p pulls on the, your team shirt. I don't yeah. care. Um, and I don't like the narrative. It doesn't, hurt to, it doesn't hurt to support people. 
you know? Yeah, true. And I don't like the narrative that if we accept Werner, we ex we're accepting mediocrity. That's bullshit. Because last we time I checked, I, I, can, I haven't ever made a transfer yeah. to, for Tottenham. I haven't <laughs> been asked what I think about transfers. I've never, you know, I they've never even included me in those decisions. And so... Yeah, I, I, I agree with you there, Sue. I think yeah. that's that's an easy thing for people to say, you know. Um, Look, it's it's a lazy say, argument. What I would say, right, I, I know we can get better than, than Werner, but as a squad player, I think he fits in very well because he's he's going to be a squad player because if if Ange Postecoglou's got any sense, he would put Sonny on the left and not play him as a striker, in my opinion, and then buy a striker who can get you those goals, right? And then you put you keep Richie if he wants to stay because we don't know where the boy's head, head is in terms of wanting to stay or go. And we only can go on rumours and conjecture. So if if Richarlison stay, I, I won't be too unhappy. I like him. I like the Pru-Pru as well. I love it, uh, especially on the Irish Hotspur when he gets me to do it. <laughs> and I love Lee Smithy-Smith that he loves him. You know, oh, yeah. you can have oh, banter yeah. about it, you know. So it's all good. It, you know what? There's there's fans who are not going to like him, Colin. So they'll say that all the fans who accept him are, um, are accepting mediocrity. And they do attach it to something more sinister. But I won't go there because we're not that sort of channel. All right. right. We want to keep right, it right. Nice, nice and sweet. So then we've got... Um, We've got Ben Hoffman saying, for Timo to work, you have to pass the ball into the channels instead of playing sideways and backwards. Uh, I, I, I can't, agree. yeah. He'll be, yeah he definitely agree, would ben. be more effective. He would be more effective yeah. for sure. But he, he can't say for him to ball. work, though, because he's working. He's. I get what you're saying, though, Ben. I'm just being pedantic. But he's technically is working now because he's scoring and assisting. Yeah, like, do you know what I've noticed about Romero as well? He's taking more time on the ball. When I, I, I'm, I get a bit frustrated, I say, right, pass it, pass it. But he's looking for movement, and Sonny was moving. Literally, he was making the space for, for Romero to find him. And normally, Romero does find him, or someone else like Porro will find him, right? But this time, he didn't. But luckily, we won the match because it was against Nottingham Forest and they're a bit pants, aren't they? They're not the best team in the world. So we got away with that one. But other games, right, where you need to score and get ahead of the game against better sides, Colin, we've got to start finding our runners. Yeah, because he was making some very yeah. good run. Yeah, that's the only... I'm not criticising Romero in particular because I don't want to call him out because at the end of the day, I love the player. And he gives so much to our, our team in other respects. But I've just noticed recently he's been doing that. So I just wanted to mention that. So, yeah, so we've got Bob Dan Under saying, I would love to see a fit Richie with Timo and BJ's crosses. Son doesn't get into the box. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah if, he's playing as, if he's playing in the number nine role, he will. Because we saw it against Arsenal. We've seen it. Throughout his career, he can do it, right? And um, he's lethal and he's clinical. He's probably, like I said, he's the most clinical striker. So I sort of semi-agree with that. Uh, audio artist and saying, question for Ellie, how many keepy uppies could you do in your prime? <laughs> well, um, the most I've ever counted, right, Where because normally I, I just muck about, you know, if I'm training, is 280. That's nice. the most I've ever counted, but I've probably done more. But I'm, uh, I should have recorded myself, really. I could, yeah. I could actually do keepy uppies now. I haven't lost it. And I, I can do that deft touch you where you yeah. can kick the ball up in the air and trap it. I can do Ooh, that still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll test yeah. myself. You know, I've had three broken toes uh, last year and this year. I've had Shit. three broken toes and I can still do it. Heck yeah, be careful with I'm, your toes, I'm Ellie. My own drum, yeah. Beating. Quit, this quit is breaking your toes. But you're all but you're also yeah. it is exactly, exactly. But you are you are telling us all about your broken I'm toes. So. Dude, Maybe do I'll do it. a video. I'll that'd do be a great. video. Yeah, yes. that'd be yeah. fun. That'd be awesome. Just to prove it so people don't think I'm lying, Colin. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, we, no, we, we there believe you. There might be you. some haters out there. Nah. <laughs> right. Audio artists and say, oh, well, I've done that one. Spurs GCTV, welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, nice Graham? Uh, well, worth noting, no saying we are not scoring enough. Agree can always score more, but we have scored more than last year and done that without Kane. Still building. Boom. There go. There's, Love it. We have. We've scored more, and what I notice, we've got more points. Nearly as no, nearly as much many points as last season. I think I can't remember the figure now, but I think we've nearly got and we've got seven games to go. We've nearly got as many points as we accumulated at thirty-eight matches. Yeah, if I anybody think we... can tell me because I've forgotten. But if you if you can look at last year's. Um, table colin and see how many points we finished on and yeah, then, on. yeah and then we can give the figures so destiny five saying basuma's attitude stinks and he needs to do one <laughs> you know what don't hold bars don't hold bars destiny five you know what exactly I mean? he lets he lets it all out yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's he's sending me a love heart, so I'm not going to dig him out about that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. I I have said it myself, Colin. What what do you think about Basuma? What do you think? Uh, not just his, not the start. What he's doing right now? How will you evaluate him? Well, I want to say we finished last season on sixty points. So point, and we've currently got fifty six. I believe. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Um, I think we've got fifty-six. If I'm correct. You, we currently have sixty, actually. So oh, we've got sixty points. So we're on right now the oh, amount that we oh, finished yes. the season with last. We're only week. eleven points behind, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So we're ahead. When I looked three weeks ago, we were slightly behind, but we're ahead of last year's total when we finished eighth. So it's. Little steps like this, we're 11 points off top. Mathematically, we're not out of the title, but I'm not saying we're going to win the league. I'm, I'm, I'm on the, yeah. I'm on the, I'm on the choo-choo train. If we do, I'll be the first one on the first carriage, choo-chooing. You know, pulling the string. Oh yeah, pulling, oh, yeah. of you know course. What I mean? Yeah. Right, and I've been down oh, Tottenham yeah. High Road. Uh, the, there's a good thing in my family, Colin, that I'd like to let you know. I might have told you before, but if I have, I do apologise. But there's a tree outside of Tottenham, uh, Tottenham Town Hall where they bring the trophy. It's an oak tree. It's massive. And yeah. it's very popular in my family because we all used to climb it. Because we, you know, Mediterranean people, we're short. <laughs> we really are short. I'm a, I'm only five foot six, and my tallest brother was five foot ten. So we used to climb the tree so we could get a bird's eye view of the, you know, the players bringing the bringing the trophy in on the bus, right? Um, we used to be nearer the ground, and then we'd walk down to Tottenham High Road, and then go to the Tottenham Town Hall, climb the tree. Yeah. So that tree, yeah. we've notched on it as well. We've notched our names on it. That's awesome. Yes. I'm going yeah, to and this I want to, I want to go and make another notch, Colin. Yeah, yeah. you are, you are too. Whatever trophy it is, I'll do that bloody notch, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's that's something that's dear to my heart, you know, and it's something that's um, attached to my family because my seven brothers and my father were all like Spurs fanatics. And we despise Arsenal. Sorry if there's any Arsenal fans in the, the uh, chat. I despise you personally. We've only got one we've only got one that hangs around. <laughs> Luca, he's a good people. He won't mind. Yeah. There's lots of Arsenal fans I like as well. Yeah. Well I, there's not lot there's not lots for me, but there's a couple. Yeah. Uh, my, I've got my, loads of my cousin Arsenal friend uh fans, sorry. So my first yeah. cousin is is an Arsenal supporter. He was also the first soccer yeah. supporter that i that i yeah he he used to give me a lot of trouble uh and then we finished above them for seven years or whatnot that's right um, and he's yeah, quieted so down a bit over Arsenal. we finished right. above him you've only taken the spot in the last two years exactly and, and, and now he's here we still could take their spot if yeah. they bottle it again and they fall off the wagon well, if they bottle it everybody has to get one of my uh arteta crying shirts <laughs> 
Yeah. No, so, like, thank yeah. you for the love heart, Destiny. I really appreciate it. And I love that you're number five because that's Hoybier's number. And it was yeah, Jan Vertonghen's yeah. number before before Hoybier got it. So, oh, Jan Vertonghen. That's another level. <laughs> so, Ben Kaufman yeah. saying, will our owner give Ange the money to money? to money in his image arteta spent a lot of money we have to spend big on recruitment yeah i agree with that what do you think colin so i think that we're in a cool position where we don't actually need to spend that big on recruitment as long as and i don't think we plan to so um ellie you and i know um you know that the club has been bitten by some shitty expensive transfers that we then couldn't get yeah. rid of and held on to and lost money on. Um, those are all of like Daniel Levy's least favorite things to do. Yeah. So I think that instead of taking risks on big money signings, I think that we're going to see, you know, we bought, not bought, but we brought in um, that Longa fellow. Um, and, yeah. uh, you know, he's got his whole data driven model thing. I also mm -hmm. think that Pasta Coglu probably has some kind of a little, little black book, you know, with his with his uh, yeah. targets from, you know, yeah. other leagues. Palatici's giving them a few hints as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think <laughs> with Palatici, as they say in Italy. <laughs> yeah, well, well, how you know they say it correctly, but I, I want to say Palatici. I'm I'm gonna say it incorrectly. Oh, that's how I'm gonna say. It. Like I keep, I try to get people to say Hoi Bier, right? Because that's how you pronounce it. But everybody says Hoi Berg. So I'll give yeah, it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. And but but um shoot, what was I just saying? Uh, oh yeah, so no more expensive. About the I recruitment. Mean, yeah, there's gonna obviously, you know, good players cost money. So there will be some, you know, high dollar transfers, but mm. I think we're gonna see a lot more clever recruitment. I think that Pasta mm. Coglu is is he's very um uh Pochettino and the fact that he doesn't yeah. need expensive signings or even like world-class players more as much as he just needs players that are like fit and will do what the hell he says to do you know what i mean yeah. um you see these players that are that are fit young have energy will fight and will follow directions I yeah we'll and i do agree with our community because a lot of the community was was saying um after one comment was made which was a very very poignant comment Colin, it was saying that Bacario and VDV are our Van Dyke and our Allison. And mm -hmm. I truly believe that these two lads will take us to that promised land like Van Dyke and Allison did. Because they they are they're still learning, right? They're still learning, they're still new to the premiership, remember, but they've set the premiership alight, the two lads, right? In different ways. But I think they're bloody brilliant. And I'll take my hat off to them, but I won't because my hair's a bit messy under this hat. <laughs> so I won't. <laughs> right? So, yeah, I just feel that they they will become our statement signings because a lot of people are calling for a £100 million statement signing because Arsenal did that. But they, remember, they're four years ahead of us in their model. And I also just projects. think it's... It's so annoying how people just want to spend money to spend money. I swear, Ellie, if if Werner's um, buy option was thirty five mil instead of fifteen, more people would want him because, you know, yeah, I, money I, doesn't I feel... money doesn't mean the player's good. A, a high, you know, a high price tag doesn't mean yeah. the player is gonna come in and and do what you need him to do. Uh, yeah, we true. Tr our transfer rec our record transfer was and I think still is Tanji and Nambele. I know. Um, <laughs> And so we all what know a how waste I, of money. Right. What a waste of money. <laughs> so, so I just think people need oh. to keep their pants on and realize, you know, that not yeah. not every signing has to be a hundred million pounds for it to be yeah. a good signing. Well, I would say my brother made a very poignant um uh, comment as well. I, I'm always mentioning mentioning my brother Boo because he, he's he's such a good Spurs fan, and he, he's my my young. He's old, He's a year and a half older than me, so he was born in our double winning season. So that's how much good luck he brought to our club. There and he's go. got that star quality, my brother. He's like he said to me very very poignantly. He said to me, 
what you got to do, L, right? We've got our statement signings in Vicario and Van de Ven because nobody knew really a lot about them. And what you did know about them is little snippets here and there. But there was a, maybe a few people who knew about Vicario and VDV. But I would say most people would have, hold their hands up and say, no, we didn't know about them, right? And um, he said, what we've got to do is just make another statement signing like Madison, a creative or a striker who's who's the bee's knees, right? Who's a, the finished article. And we, he comes in and he makes that big, big difference, right? And like when you liken it to Arsenal, Rice, I wouldn't say he's a statement signing. The money, yes, but I wouldn't say he, he's been a very effective signing, but I wouldn't say he's a statement signing. I think we need somebody like a top, top striker attract them in because we're going to get Champions League, it looks like. Don't think we're going to fall off the wagon in that respect. And I think either that or another creative who can pinpoint those passes who can score goals as well, like, like say, a, a similar player to Ericsson, who can score goals but create as well, you know. I think we'll be pushing it towards that league title next season even. We might even hit that target early doors. It's going to take a, a, a lot of hard work by Ange Postacoglu and a lot of... Um, a bit of luck along the way with injuries because we've had a lot of bad luck as have other clubs as well but I think we can get there quicker than you know our destination is there I think we can reach it yeah with with yeah. that one I think the top in my book I, I said to my brother when I was checking I think a striker right because goals win you games yeah and We've got the we got a creative in Madison. We've got a creative in Kulu if he he has that role as well, rather than the wing. Um, and we've got Bentoncourt who can create as well. And then Basuma, if he's given the right, if he finds his mojo, he can create. So we have got the minerals. It's just uh, adding a little bit of sprinkles to that mineral. You know, that's how I see it. Anyway, what, what who would you like to? What position would you like to feel most? Striker, def striker definitely. Yeah. Def yeah. The I great minds think alike, isn't it, Cole? For sure. Um, <laughs> we just need, we just need, you know, um, someone to 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 bang them in. Um, yeah. And it could, you know, it doesn't even have to be somebody that's phenomenal. Just somebody that's clinical and. You know, Richarlison seems to have the worst luck in the entire world. He can get himself in, in the right position and do everything right, hit the post or, you know. Um, yeah. yeah, I just, yeah. Don't think, I just don't think Richarlison is, is it, unfortunately. Um, and we could use another striker. If, if he's down to stay to, as a rotation option, because, mm -hmm. you know, we'll have more matches to play. That's yeah. all good. But I'll, you. I'll get where yeah. you're coming from now. Yeah. yeah. I would upgrade so, him for sure. Meta football, Meta football, Chris is um, reminding people to smash the like. Yeah, come yeah. on, take the vote. Yeah, and then Ben Kaufman saying, "Will our owner give Ange the money to build a team in his image? Arteta spent a lot of money. We have to spend big on recruitment, especially at board level." Yeah, yeah, you you do you do need to spend in this day and age because it correlates. We've been the fourth or fifth highest spenders in the league and our correlation goes with the league position that we're finishing in on average under Levy, Levy sorry, it's been fourth or fifth um, in recent times. I don't know about when he first came because I haven't looked at those stats because I'm not, like, it may be a common misconception. I'm not a big stats person. I prefer looking with my eyes. That's how I see football. Yeah, so, yeah, so we... we I agree with you, Ben. They have to bump up some extra money. Let's see what happens come the summer. But uh, Ange Postacoglu himself has said he's going to take more than one summer to build his squad. That you know where he's going to not need that remote control that he's been mentioning recently. You know right. when the yeah. players lose their discipline, Colin. Yeah. What What did you think about that comment about the remote control? Just to get your angle on it. 
<laughs> oh no, it was funny. I think everything, almost everything he yeah. says is funny. He's we, he we, we're lucky in that we've got uh, a manager who's not a. I, I don't. Know. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. It's. I like listening to his press conferences. I always get a kick out of them. Um, it's funny. He clearly knows what he wants the boys to do. It seems like the boys. Yeah. Shouldn't be too far off from. You know, from from being able to carry out that plan, from being able to give him what he wants, fingers yeah. crossed at least. But yeah, yeah, I thought it was funny. It made me laugh. It, we need it, that ball not to be so, um, not tight because they have spent money, but they spent incorrectly. Like you know, when I mentioned in in your channel um, about having a restaurant and running running the restaurant, so you need the eye owner to keep an eye on eye on the ball. Yeah, he's got to keep his and not be too pally pally. And I had a big argument with someone just recently about that. But but I, I think he is too pally pally, in my opinion. What I've seen, what I've heard, what I've noticed on the documentary, and he has to keep his distance. And rec when you're recruiting people, if they're not doing their job, Colin, come down hard on them straight away. Right, don't leave them because we've seen players as well 10, 10, 11 years at our club rotting, rotting in the rotting our club. Really, I won't mention too many names, but it begins mm -hmm. with D and ends with R. Yeah, and now yeah. he's calling our club out, he's got the bloody cheek to do that. Yeah, so I just feel I just feel the owner has to be responsible. So you know that saying, the buck stops at stops at the top, yeah? But it mm. hasn't stopped at the top because he's still in a job and all the rest have gone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and I don't want to be too political, but he's paying himself pay rises, right, when he hasn't done his job properly, in my opinion, and he's trying to get it right now. I can see that. I can see that, but don't... don't um, what they say, a leopard doesn't change his spots, but I think he probably can if only he keeps his eye on the ball. Yeah, because if you take your eye off the ball and you let people make your club go downwards rather than forward, which we've seen, Colin, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. We, we but I think we've been, I think we've been moving in a good trajectory. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know. I, when I say that, I mean with all the manager changes trophies. we have trophies are the the creme de la creme of football that's what makes you a successful club you have to compete at least at least we've been competing under potch and then we fell by the wayside 500 odd days he didn't give him help because he was building the stadium fair enough right but what when the when the what they do they say strike while the iron's hot mm -hmm. yeah and he didn't strike right and we fell by the wayside and then potch gets sacked and then it's a, a steady collapse yeah so yeah. i just want yeah. us to get back under Ange. i want us to get back to those potch days but even push on even more yeah and that needs levy to help him yeah, no, he's absolutely. Now. He's got no excuse, has he? Right. Yeah. Like, like I was talking about, you know, the, the data driven model and the, you know, probably more inexpensive players. You, yeah. you do need you do need some stars to flesh out your team. You know, you need some yeah. some world class players. Um, so hopefully, uh, yeah. Levy will will back in and will bring in. I'm yeah. optimistic, Colin. Because Me at too, the end but... of the day, we we can't always look back. You've got to look forward. Right. right? Yeah. The, what happened happened you can't change it that's history right like our history is history our, our glorious history were under nicholson and then birkinshaw came in and made us a very attractive football side to watch yet alone winning three three or four trophies you know the main the main thing is we look forward and hopefully levy's he's it, it, gonna it's, i hope he's learned i just hope i put my hand on my heart I want, I want us, I want us to start winning things, and I know it's not going to be easy because there's other, another three or four teams who are in that mix, yeah, who are always going to be in that mix. It looks like because the money in the game has really changed the game, hasn't it, Colin? 
Oh, oh definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, there's so, less money in the world to go around right now. I mean, the yeah. I think we'll see the money kind of, you know, not be quite as crazy um, in, yeah. the, in the coming years. I think Hopefully. the club are doing the right thing by inviting other investors to join. Oh, you know, yeah. Same. Same. It can go the other way because the investors might have another view on things, how to spend the money, and there could be a conflict of interest. But hopefully they'll pick out the investors that align with their project. You know, I, I, I can't see them not doing that because it, yeah. it defeats the object then. You get money in for no reason then, don't you? Right. Because you haven't yeah. got one common goal. Yeah. So Nicholas Collison is saying five more goals to equal last year's goal tally as well. Well done for that, Nick. Um, ben Kaufman saying, my typing this morning is shocking. What have you been on, Co uh, Mr. Kaufman? Have you been drinking too much coffee or too much of the other stuff? No, yeah, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Right, so Bob Dananda is saying, did, 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 see some, did you see some comments that saw and Bis were fasting for Ramadan, so no water or full food before the game may have had some impact on their games. Interesting. Yeah. No, I, I I didn't even think of that. I should have. Oh, very interesting because I know when I haven't eaten, Colin, I want to kill somebody. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you're just you're just so hungry. You think, oh my god, I can eat eat a horse. And if yeah. you don't go if you don't go without food or water, that must have a an effect because I know if I don't drink water, I get a bit dizzy. I do. Well, yeah, and then um, imagine you're playing football at the highest level. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, yeah. if that's the case, it'll absolutely have affected them. Um, how yeah. much longer is Ramadan? Any any uh, Muslim people in our chat? Uh, or um, I guess I could just Google it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I've got um I've got a friend who's going to bring me some sweets at the end of it. So I don't know if it's so it know, ends. Is it called it, Eid? Is it April? Is it Eid? April ninth. What, what, what religion? What religion is Eid? Is that is that Muslim as well? I believe. Where they make all the yeah, sweets? I think I so. Yeah, yeah. I love it because I've got a very sweet tooth. Hence, I'm not six stone. <laughs> no, there you go. Hey. I, I won't go there. So, Colin Blackshaw saying good afternoon, everyone. Nicholas up, Colin? saying Bob Dananda. I don't think it's noticeable with Saw, but it has been with Basuma. Yeah, but Saw's been carrying a back injury as well. I hear. So he hasn't. Maybe he hasn't fully recovered, and that's why. And Postacoglu is managing his minutes, or it could be that he's just been playing pants and he's holding him off. <laughs> right. could be, so, yeah. yeah. Met a football TV saying, Colin Blackshaw, glad to see you here, mate. True. We're glad to see everybody here. Destiny Five, especially as well. Why is Hoybier telling Son he is taking free kicks? If that happens again, I'll run on the pitch and drop kick Hoybier. <laughs> I don't even remember that happening. I guess it was yeah, the last match. Yeah, he did. He took a free kick. He really Jesus did. Christ. Do you know what I think? I think because he knows it's his swan song, he yeah. probably had a little word with Son before the match. He said, if we get a free kick and I'll get on, can I take it? <laughs> he didn't Not do bad. too bad at the free No, he actually hit the ball with a free kick, but the shot that he uh -huh. did. Oh yeah. my God. I know he's got a good shot on him because we saw it against Liverpool and Marseille. Yeah, those two great yeah. goals he scored. Um, anyway, moving on from Hoybier because I can be here all day talking about Hoybier. Right, okay. so the Hotspur Hood is saying Son is best with both feet. Yes, he is. Uh, Meta Football, Chris saying Destiny Five, take the free kick yourself first and drop kick. <laughs> There you, go. There you, go. you know what? We've got some funny people in our chat, man. We've got funny really? people in our community in general. So Destiny Five saying sorry, L lol. All right. You know what? It's not worth saying sorry after you've backed him out like that and you're gonna drop kick him. Right, <laughs> right. You've already, it's already been said. It's already been said, exactly. And ben Kaufman yeah. said, how beautiful to see Eric Dyer's crap defending for another team. Absolutely dreadful defender. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby Kane, if you've tuned in, uh, we'll apologise on Ben's 
for your boy to eat. <laughs> you know, uh, it's more thick than hoi beer, which I'm glad. I wish he had bloody stayed now because then he'll get all the stick. <laughs> yeah, right. no kidding. But yeah. Colin Blackshaw, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Cheers, Meta. I hope you're well. Uh, Destiny Fire saying, at Meta, even you could do better than hoi beer. <laughs> Now, now, Hoi Pierre is getting the stick now, you see. I I, I was expecting that anyway, Colin. Uh, uh, just a harm to take a uh, big up Ellie and Cole and big up Hoi Pierre as well. <laughs> I'll get that one in. Meta Football TV. Sonny, Sonny may be playing out of position, but if it were the other way round, Werner would be playing out of position too. And then they'd be moaning anyway. True. <laughs> what do you think of that, Colin? <laughs> uh sorry i was reading other comments which which one was this what did they say this is the one i just read that sonny may be playing out of position but if it were the other way around verna would be playing out of position too and then they'd be moaning anyway yeah 100 <laughs> percent. no you you really can't and i mean yeah I'm, exactly and we wouldn't want i don't think we want Werner playing as the number nine i don't think we you know what i mean i think he's i think Sonny's a better makeshift nine than Werner would be so yeah if we're going to play one out of position let's have it be sunny is yeah. my my view on that well the solution next season is buy a top class striker play sonny on the wing play Werner and johnson on the bench yeah like i'll bring bring them on or you know there's so many options you can do yeah. Anyway, um, Dan's saying, Son's a pressing forward. Son could never play as Targe man? What does that mean, Targe man? You mean main man? Ta ta He's probably ta target man, I think. Oh, target man, yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, what's Targe man? Um, yeah, he's weak for that. Yeah. Um, you know what? He's stronger than people think, though, Sonny. He can hold the ball quite well. When it's played into him, he's not so, so good because he can get knocks off the ball, I, I must admit, right? But in general, he's he's got really good fights, isn't he? He's a very powerful player. It's just he, he uses his power for the goal scoring and to, to set himself up or when he's running when he's running towards goal, that's when he's very, very strong. But when he when he comes up against the player and he's got his back to go, I, I agree with Dan. He can be a little bit a pushover sometimes, even though he's six four, he can be knocked off the ball. Yeah. What do you think, Colin? Sonny? We talking yeah. we talking about Sonny? Yeah, Sonny, that's definitely the way to get it, Sonny. I think teams have figured that out. Um, mm -hmm. you know, stick an extra defender on him and he's pretty much useless. It's really easy to mark Sonny out of games. Um, you know, just any kind of contact on him when he has the ball and he'll either give up possession or go down, giving up possession. Um, and a lot of times he's not been fouled. They won't call it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's anything he can really help. Um, true, true. You know, it might just be, I mean, he could, you always say, oh, I'll get stronger, but you don't realize that like, like getting stronger and, and like adding muscle, you then, you know, you're, you're becoming slower. You're losing speed. I yeah. yeah I, I think that's just, unfortunately, that's just part of Sonny's game that we're going to have to, um, do you think Except. he's lost a significant amount of speed? Because I don't think he's lost a significant amount where it's glaringly bad, you know. I can yeah. see little bits here and there, um, especially like when he receives the ball and he's going on the run. He's not as quick over that, you know, where he's lightning over that first 10 yards. Right. Yeah, yeah. it takes him a bit longer to get into his stride and then he, he hits that niche and then he's off, yeah, and no one's catching him. So I think it, the initial bit, I think, you know, that drop, that burst of energy where he like gets away from his marker, I think that might have slowed down a tad, a tad but not significant that like it's glaringly obvious to people, you know, that's my take on things anyway. So Ben Kaufman saying at Nicholas Collison, being a stat merchant, you're going to blame the rain. Yeah, <laughs> blame oh, the man. rain. My mum used to say um, Spurs always win when it rains, but we didn't win against West Ham, mum. So what are no. you doing up in heaven? Come on, help her. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Right. I do, um, I do, yeah. Chris is saying, Destiny 5, I used to take the pens and free kicks when I played, mate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you go, Chris. Right. 
Ben, Ben's saying 60% of Richie's goals are with his head. Yeah, there's another stat. Oh. Stats are coming out of the woodwork today, aren't they, Colin? They right. are, they are. Yeah, just the harmless potato saying Werner actually played centre forward for Leipzig when he had his most success, but they were creating a lot of chances and he missed a lot too. Yeah, well, that's what Stryker's doing. As long yeah. as you score 50% of them, that's all right. As long as you score 30. <laughs> yeah, like 25 yeah. is saying Son is not captain material. If PH IPF can tell him he's taking a free kick. <laughs> well, like I said, I've got a, a, that theory. I said I think because IPF's leaving, right? Son is very gracious, isn't he, Colin? He's yeah, he is. He's a good they guy. They've had a conversation, right? And he said, or even on the pitch, maybe not even beforehand. He said, Look, I'm leaving, Tommy. Let me take one. I'll show you what I can do. And what, he, what does he do? Lo and behold, hits it into the wall, the div. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, yeah. my beer. I'll take that back. You're not a div. Right. Um, Kels, welcome, Kels. Welcome. Kels, what's up? Hey, well done. Right. Hi, everyone. Timo is not a number nine. Spurs definitely need a new name. I think he would become a good squad player for Spurs giving time. Correct. I, I agree with that. Destiny 5 at Meta Football. And if my nan has will, she'd be a bike. Yeah, I've heard that one many, many a time. Right. Harmless Potato saying his passing is not good enough to play a false nine. Um, no, no. I am I'm, Tom is a better fit. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I agree with that. Destiny 5, good for you, but I don't want square footed centimetre taking the ball off my captain. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. <laughs> There's a Sonny lover, if ever you found one. Right. Just right, to exactly. to say, I rate PEH, yes, you're a good man for rating him. But as I understand, he doesn't want to be here anymore. Better ways to win the heart of the fans. Yeah, um, I think he still be, remained professional, though. You know, I mean, he made a few comments in the recently about why why he's, he's not calling out Ange Postecoglou, but why he hasn't got more game time. Because really, there are better midfielders. They are, and when they perform, and when they don't, he gets his chance because he's down the pecking order. Yeah, you've got to you've got to take your knocks in football. If there's better players to be chosen, you've got to say, right, I'll sit on the bench, but when I get my chance, I'll try and impress, you know, and I'll try and get in the manager's head. And I think maybe he's done that with uh, Benton Cole. What, what do you think? Because they had a very, very good game against Nottingham Forest, and they were particularly good against Fulham as well. Even though we were 3-0 down at the time, they came on and they steadied the ship and the experience. So... Do, do you feel that Pierre and maybe Benny can start the next match? Um, I think I think Benton Core should should start the next match. Yeah. Um, Pierre, on the other hand, I don't I don't know for sure. I mean, I yeah. don't think that he's the type of player that like Ange would normally start. You know, no, um, he's I agree. yeah, he's he's good when like you said things are kind of. Do you of think he chaotic. deserves to start though, regardless of that? Do you think Basuma maybe is the one that maybe the scapegoat out of the team, or maybe Saar? Or do you think those boys can offer more? Uh, it's tough. It's tough. We're playing who? Newcastle. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be terrible. I, I it, yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't be terrible if if Pierre got the start. Um, I just worry. You know, I he's got a mistake. He's got a mistake or two in him, and the longer he plays, you know, the more, the more we might see my, that. My heart says start him, but my head says no because when he has started this season, it's been quite bad. Yeah. And like, I'll hold my hands up. It, it not not just him, the whole team, right? The whole team have not clicked, and there must be a reason. So. But I saw a sign in that uh, not in the college game that he's getting the hang of moving the ball quicker, and he's making a bit more mistakes because of it. Because he's not used to moving the ball quick; he's used to putting his foot on the ball and turning and taking his time and looking around and picking out a pass. That's his game, 
right? But in the Andropostokoglu system, you have to move the ball quickly, right? And obviously, he's going to make mistakes. And you saw it. He, however good a performance he had, he gave one glaringly bad pass across the 18-yard box. And luckily for, for me and the team, because <laughs> I would have got it in the air, he, um, the defence came to his rescue. But I, I remember the Newcastle game he came on and he'd done a, a quick pass to um, La Celso. La Celso was side on, didn't receive the ball. They nipped in, got the ball and then scored the goal. And then I got it in the ear. So, you know, I, I agree with you, Colin. I don't think he should start. I think he's more effective off the bench. And he brings experience from the bench. And we need to have something in our armour on the bench. Because otherwise, what have you got? You've only got Skip. And he's not even an experience. He's, he's a decent midfielder, but he's not... I wouldn't call on him to change a game. Just put it that way. Yeah? Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so we've got Colin Blackshaw saying, Hi, Kells, hope you're well. Three-legged dog. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you here. I'm on the fence with Werner. I would like to see him have a strong game against the top three teams. Yeah, that's another sure. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure. Destiny five, ha ha. Nick, Nick saying Son should have a take. Son should have been taking free kicks. End of. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, Agreed. we'll give you that one, Nick. Nick saying he scores them for South Korea. Yeah, he does. Um, Chris is saying Kells, hey there. Nice to see you. Yeah. Destiny Five Meta Football, they're all talking to one another. We got Polly and Ellie. Hooray! We got Jimbo in the house. Jimbo. Jimbo, Jimbo Pacino, as I've nicknamed him. Oh, <laughs> we got Ellie and Colin. Pru, pru. Oh, I have to do that properly. Pru, 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 pru. That was good. That was oh, good. That one was. Well, we haven't had Lee Smithy Smith join us yet, so maybe he's no, um, no. with one of his MILFs. You never know. He could. He could be. He could be. <laughs> right, then um, Jimbo saying big up to the chat as well. Just the girl loves Spurs. Woo! Big up my beautiful bestie Ellie and Cole. Colin's beautiful as well. Yeah, we yeah. are. We try to be. You know, it takes a lot of makeup in my respect. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, um, Jim said, I'm going to test you at the North London Derby, Ellie. Test your cooking. Yes. There you go. Yes. Right. It's no secret now. There's going to be a party in the house. Yeah. At Ellie's house. Come on. Anybody's welcome. The house is not that big, but it can house probably about 20, 30 people. So I might even get a marquee. I might do that and push it into the garden. If, as, as long as it's a nice day, but it all depends what kickoff it is. Twelve o'clock on Saturday. I'm right. If if Arsenal get through, it switches to a Saturday. Is that right? Is that Wait. right, Colin? If it's... Arsenal win the North, if Arsenal beat Bayern, it switches to a Saturday. That is what I heard. Yeah. I've got yeah. a brain like a bloody sieve. And then if they don't get through, if Bayern beat knock them out, it stays on the Sunday. Yep. From yeah, what I understand, that is correct. And yeah. then we got, hello, Leo. You got oof, Leo. Oof. What's up, buddy? Colin's doing it as well. I'm doing none for Colin. And I'm doing oh, yeah. Th thank you. My thank homie. You. Right. Yo, yo, yo. A very good morning to all my homies. Yes, of course. Just a girl, Leo, Leo, with three kisses. Wow. I'll tell you what, Leo, take Kate up on that when you see her. Three kisses. One there, one there, one there. Right on the smacker. <laughs> Mile High Hotspur, Jimbo, guess who's crashing your arm at Ellie's? Yes. Come on. Bring it on. Do you know what? I'm going to love the North London derby. And I just, even if we lose or draw, that part is going on to the wee hours of the night. You know, or the morning, I should say. Yeah? Nobody's oh, going to yeah. get any sleep. Just put it that way. <laughs> and then we've got Mile High Hotspur saying, Kate! Uh, just a girl loves Spurs. Katie saying, oh, my God, Leo, amazing. Yes, it is. And then uh, Mile High Hotspur, gonna be fucking fantastic. <laughs> I can't do yeah. that. I, can't. I love that saying. That's Bobby K saying. Oh, fuck it up. fantastic. <laughs> I love him. I think Bobby Kay's fantastic with Coover. Oh, oh yeah. 
They and are saying, Leo, long can't cannot wait, mate. Not long now, homie. Yeah, it's not. Was it twenty? Is it twenty days or nineteen days? So that depending on when it is, I think it's nineteen days. So Destiny Five saying Ellie is the salt of the earth fan. Well, some say that. Some say that. <laughs> Because I, I get a lot of stickers of Hoy Beer. They say I'm the reason why Spurs are no good. <laughs> right, and then Mile High Hot Spurs saying, Ellie, yeah, with the sh that, that, Colin, is because I've got a running joke with uh, Leo about the soap. Because one oh, day okay. he caught him in the shower and he's yeah. wash washing his vital parts. <laughs> oh, man. So we've got, a, we've got like a private joke going now with the soap. There you go. Good uh, stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Just a harmless potato. Arsenal got lucky. Uh, what's that say? Clear handball from Gabriel and the ref didn't give it because it was a schoolboy mistake. You know, refs are getting blind these days. They're not noticing any. And even, like that penalty, I don't like a harp on about it. I just didn't think it was a penalty in my particular view because I think he kicked the goalie rather than the goalie impeding him. So the kick came before the goalie impeded him, if you know uh, that. I I haven't seen it yet. I'll have to look it up. Okay, we'll when you see it, he kicks out, right, and then the goalie turns his body towards to stop him going through, but he's already kicked the goalie, you see. Mm -hmm. So the foul was – it's a foul on the goalie, that's what I say, not a penalty. So uh, Mahai helps me say Destiny 5. Uh, they're all talking to each other. Yeah, talk and ball. That's your that's yourself, or is that Jose? Yeah, big that's up, me. Yeah, big up everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry for not having my cam on. Your arm would rather see Ellie anyway. <laughs> I don't know about that. You've got a really good beard going on there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, one that. One thing before we finish, Colin, because I think um Kate's on at one o'clock. So what's the time now? We started it's, at eleven forty-five. It's it's one thirteen right now. But, um, so is it? Yes, oh, that's your it is. Time. Oh, well, we better we better, yeah. we better go then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You gotta head over. Fun. You gotta head over, Kate's. Yeah, because we've run over Kate. Sorry, Kate. My fault. My bad. I didn't keep track of the time. But anyway, her audience is probably different. Anyway, so anyway, what I'll say. Thank you for everybody for joining us. And Absolutely. We'll play you out with the James Madison song. Yeah? We'll do it. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, bye, everybody. And come on, you Spurs. And Ange, we trust. Woo. And we trust. My team has got James Madison James Madison is what we need Whoa, thank God we got James Madison This kid plays ball like you would never believe Whoa